pull that throttle. That, that last little bit of throttle back. It really it's starts gonna, to drop. It's gonna dump it, yeah. Yeah, just so keep going. Now pull the way back, pull the way back. There you go. Yo guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to be flying Cletus's Cub. If you didn't know, I've had my airplane license for quite a while now and I've been flying tailwheels, but I've never flown his or had any time in a carbon cub specifically. So today he and I are gonna go rip this thing and get some tailwheel time in. All right, let's taxi over to the north, uh, or sorry, the south and west corner. So to your left. Since there's people on the drag strip, it'd be easier to take off that way. We'll do a sort of turn on the grass so we don't yeah. tear up these tires do at you all. Have both valves straight forward. Both what? Both valves on the ground are straight forward. Uh, right's forward, left's forward. Perfect. You know this lot pretty well. There's no holes or anything to watch out for. Not in this one, no. Okay. So go over to your left. So like when we turn around, we're kind of under the, these power lines. Yep. All right. Run up. Yeah, yeah, do a run up. Flaps first notch. There you go. Hold on, make sure we're free and clear here. Yeah. Pedals. All right. All right, so on one smooth motion, go full throttle and get some right pedal in it. Full throttle. Full throttle. Where do you want to land at? So we'll land, we're gonna land in the middle of the field. Okay. But it's like on the on the east side, so slow down a little bit. There you go. Make a right U-turn, whatever it is. I'll kind of show you where we're gonna land in the field. I'll, I'll just run the first one to give you an idea where I want to go. Okay. I'll take the plane. I got plane. So like, see how we're lined up on the right side of the field? Yeah. There's, we're going to be on kind of the top of a little terrace. Okay. But there's also a ditch and then another ditch. Yeah. One before the little spot of trees and one after. So we okay. got to land in between that. So I'll take the first notch of flaps now. First notch. There you go. Second yeah, notch. I see those ditches. And then you kind of see the crowns in the grass. Yes. So you're landing left of that dirt pretty much. Yeah, I'm using this dirt in front of us as a guide. Third notch, please. Third notch. And then you see, like, that ditch in front of me right now? Yep. You're going to land just past that? Yep. All right. A lot of pedal work. Yeah. And we're pretty tight on this fence on our right, too, so. Yep. This is a backcountry landing. Yeah, You know what is. I mean? Oh, yeah. But it's it's obviously very doable. Do you want to take off straight? Yep, straight ahead takeoff. First knot flaps is in. Yep, you're clear. Get the full throttle. Push the nose up. Or the tail up. There you go. Rotate. That's the power lines in front of us. We're going to clear those. Turn it right, crosswind. Remember to keep that stick back once you hit the ground. Keep your tail down. Yep. This thing's probably a little squirrelier than like the small wheel planes. It is. On asphalt. This thing's kind of going to be jumping and popping up. Just right. Just because we're, we're going on a really rough runway. Like this, the Freedom Factory is like the worst runway I land on out in that front field. Not ideal. It's just not ideal. So you just got to keep flying it. All right, we'll be turning our right base here yep. toward the end of these trees. Sounds good. This thing just wants to fly, man. Like, the wings are so big. Yeah, she's got a lot of lift. It's just set up to go slow, you know? Yeah. Line us up a little more with the dirt path in front of us. Remember, there is a third notch in this. Yep. Especially on these off-site landings. And right? the, uh, the propeller is providing the wing a lot of lift, too. So when you pull that throttle, that, that last little bit of throttle back, 
it really it's starts gonna, to drop. It's going to dump it, yeah. Yeah, so keep going. Now pull the way back, pull the way back. There, oh, that was nice. That was nice. Not bad, not bad. I added some left brake for you there. Was that you? <laughs> They're getting a little squirrely. <laughs> this thing's just a little squirrely, you know? Woo! Good oh. job. Yeah. I'm used to landing on asphalt. I got to work on the grass landings. You kind of got to ride it out. It's like you're on a freaking dirt bike back here, you know? It is. It is. All right, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. We're going around. Bring in that right pedal. Full throttle. 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 There you go. You got that ditch in sight and rotating. Clean. Taking out flaps. Look at you out here. Just, just being a bush pilot. Just pushing around. Just pushing. Hey, wasn't that uh, Papa's call name? Bush pilot? Uh, it was Ace. <laughs> oh, bush pilot. Yeah. This plane is so good that I often remind myself when I get in other planes, I'm like, I have to fly. That's like a real plane. The carbon <laughs> cub is not a real plane. I don't know, man. It is. I feel the, like you got to wheel this thing. Just, yeah, on the landing you do, but the performance wise, like if you want to take off in 100 feet, yes. and climb almost vertically, like this will do it. And you have to remind yourself. You just got to watch your airspeed. Nothing else crafts. will do this. So right. It's like, it's, it's almost a cheat code. You can get away with a lot in this. Once you get comfortable, then it's like you really know you can get away with it. And you just got to remind yourself to always stick to the rules you learn. Right. Level amount, see where we're at. And like turning final. I like that. That was funny. I mean, but push piloting is all about really, you know, tight turns, setting yourself up the best you can. You're doing good. First notch, tighten my seatbelt here. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine landing this thing in the track like you've done. That takes some skill, coordination for sure. A lot of practice. Yeah, it's got to practice. This looks clean. Clean, clean. This looks clean. Third notch coming in. Yeah, get her in, get stabilized. I remember what. Stick back. Stick back. Yeah, this thing's got a way more elevator than you think. Keep going. Keep going. Throttle out. Yep. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're, <laughs> bush, now we're bush flying. Now we're bush flying. So you're a little off to the left of the crown there. That's why. Yeah, I see how we're kind of in that little valley. little valley, which yep. is fine. This thing's got so much ride height. It's not a big deal. All right. Sunset. You want to cruise back? Yeah, yeah, we didn't leave ourselves a lot of time tonight, so. Let's do it. Yeah, you take off and turn west, and then I'll take you from there. Okay. Going full throttle, a little bit of right pedal for that yeah. P factor. Stick forward. Got there that ditch go. in sight. And rotate. And hit the smoke. Hit the smoke? It's hold the momentary switch on the left. That one on the left, yep. It's going to be cool when you teach Rip how to fly this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. He's going to be like four. Like, Dad, let me fly. <laughs> like, have him talking to Tower. Have you seen those videos? Oh, 100%. You've come a long way, man. It's not a PVC pipe built structure anymore from the last time you were here. Last time I was here was January 28th of this year, about what a couple months into your podcast when yeah. you first started making them now very like, fresh very fresh now you've got a whole whole freaking room dude the tooth's still on the wall too i've i've seen it i've watched the episodes this is something i gave cooper i didn't bring anything this time but the tooth's still there i like it man other people have been bringing some goodies for you looks like yep get your full. youtube play button for hitting 10 subscribers yeah that was um you know they they only give that to select few <laughs> the hand carved wooden one <laughs> have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car need a 10 millimeter wrench plowing a bag of flaming hot cheetos and drinking a dr pepper and realize dang it i really need to brush my teeth 
Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.